All right, I'm done with TDS guns, and tonight I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about the 45 Smith & Wesson M&P. Um, we'll show you some disassembly, reassembly, and a couple nice features that this pistol has out of the box. All right, first step, what we want to do is we want to ensure that the pistol is clear. So first we're going to remove the magazine to ensure we're only dealing with one round, possibly in the chamber. We're going to lock the slide of the rear, pulling the slide rearward, and pushing up on the slide stop. Visually and physically inspecting the chamber to ensure that we have a clear pistol, which we do. So after we have the slide locked to the rear, simply we're going to take our takedown lever and we're going to rotate it down to the 6 o'clock position. Pulling the slide rearward, letting it ride forward, it's going to stop and we would need to dry fire. Now in our glorious Republic of California here, the People's Republic, we have to have a magazine disconnect safety in this pistol. So you would be inserting an empty magazine into the pistol. We're going to dry fire, maintain the muzzles in a safe direction. We're going to press the trigger, it's going to click, then remove the magazine and remove your slide from the frame. Simple as that. Next step we're going to do is we're going to take our guide rod and spring right here, prying up and pulling out. That removes our guide rod and spring and then our barrel just gets pushed up and out of the slide. That's simple disassembly of this pistol and then you would just scrub down clean the parts and to reassemble we're just doing that whole process in reverse. So we're taking the slide, we're going to drop it into the barrel, push it down until the barrel is flush with the slide. Taking our guide rod, the flat end goes to the back and the smaller pointer end goes forward. Simple as that. Pushing the guide rod down until it sits flat on the shelf provided by the barrel. So after we get our guide rod and spring installed, we're going to line up the slide with the frame. There's grooves in the slide and ribs on the frame for you to line everything up and you're going to pull back and lock the slide to the rear ensuring that your takedown lever goes back to the 3 o'clock position and ready to release the slide and go home. We'll do a function check really quick so I got to insert an empty magazine which we're going to have right here and we're going to be holding down on the slide release to ensure the slide isn't locked back during this test. Ensuring that we still have an empty chamber which we do. <clears throat> we're going to press the trigger and hold it to the rear cycle the weapon holding down on the slide release and the trigger at the same time. Now what we're going to do is simply release the trigger. There should be a very, very, very soft but faint reset and that's the disconnect resetting and we're good to go. All right, pistol functions properly and we're good to go. And that's a simple takedown and reassembly of the Smith & Wesson M&P 45. Now a nice feature I'd like to point out about this pistol, so we'll go ahead and ensure once again that we're still clear is the inter interchangeable grips that this pistol comes with from the, from the factory. So there's three different models and to remove it there's a tab right here and you give it a quarter turn. You can go left or right, it doesn't matter. And you're just going to twist this guy and they're a little stiff at first, no problem. And we're just going to work this guy out just like so. This is also used for further disassembly if you needed to um, for removing your roll pins. This back strap gets slid out, and right here, this is the medium um, palm swell for your grip. They come in a small, medium, and large. Um, so this can take, you can hand fit from a factory pistol, you can tailor the fit of the grip to a specific shooter. So it's a really great feature. I think uh, Smith & Wesson had a great idea with his MMP line in doing this. Um, works out flawlessly, and it's great, so. And then to reinstall it, you're just gonna take this forward edge guide it in like so. There's a little key ledge right here. You're going to line it up with either groove. It doesn't matter, left or right. It's going to go down and then you just simply twist. It locks in place and you're good to go. So anyways, here we are. Smith & Wesson MMP 45. Alright, so we've talked about the Smith & Wesson MMP 45, the disassembly and reassembly of the pistol and a few features that come out of the box with a factory Smith & Wesson MP45. I'm done with TDS Guns, your friendly gun store.